Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another food prep video. I've done videos like this in the past and they've proved to be very popular and I've been asked to do some more. And this week I'm really wanting to get on top of the dinner making game and also smoothies for breakfast, which is the first thing I'm gonna do is prep my smoothies into these plastic containers that are looking the worst for the wear, but they still work. Before we begin, I just wanna apologize for the sticking plaster on my hand. I've got a scratch there that is healing nicely, but it's not quite there yet. And I know looking at a plaster is not very appealing, but I thought you guys would prefer it to looking at a scab. Okay then, on that delicious note, let's get started with prepping smoothies. Every morning I have a fruit smoothie with frozen mango and berries. I put spinach in there, ginger, and it's just a hassle getting all the bits and pieces out and putting it together. So I'm gonna prep each morning's smoothie bits into these containers and then chuck them in the freezer and that should make morning smoothie making so much quicker and easier. I put fresh ginger into my smoothies and I'm not even going to bother peeling it. It all just gets blended up anyway. I'm just going to cut some pieces. I have washed the ginger. And now I'm going to juice an orange into each one. So those are my smoothies prepped for the week. When I actually go to make them, then I'll just throw spinach in, which I'll keep in the fridge, or if it starts to go a bit wilty, then I'll put it into the freezer, but I don't mind just getting that bag and adding that separately when I do my smoothies. This is gonna be so much more convenient than doing all of those steps five times. I only had to do them once, and then mornings will just be that much smoother. So now I'm gonna pop some lids onto that and get them into the freezer. In case you're wondering, these are Rubbermaid containers and they hold 473 mils or two cups. The next thing I'm going to do is get my dinner into the slow cooker. Today is Tuesday and Tuesdays tend to be really busy around here and it's just the best when dinner's already made by the time supper time rolls around. So I'm gonna cut this gravy beef into pieces, brown it, get that into the slow cooker with some onions that I'll also brown and then we're gonna have that probably with rice and spiced roasted pumpkin. Real wintry dish. Right, I'm gonna go and brown this meat in a hot pan with a little bit of olive oil. I have my browned meat and onions and I deglazed the pan and poured that in as well and I'm just going to add a little bit of celery 
and carrots and the rest of the fixings. I have some diced Italian tomatoes I'm going to throw in there. The reason I chop the carrots in these shapes, I just think it makes it more interesting and gives it kind of a bit of a rustic feel, but obviously sliced carrots work exactly the same. I have a little tin of tomato paste. I'm going to put in some ground coriander just because I really like it and I think it goes well with beef. Some marjoram, I'm almost out in fact. Just throw what's left in there and some mixed herbs. And then lots and lots of garlic. My garlic was starting to sprout so I followed my friend Cammy's example and just peeled them all and put them into olive oil and that is why they're all oily. <laughs> Once I've finished using the garlic, then the oil will be garlic infused. So, just explaining in case you're wondering why I have an oily jar full of garlic. This is a Pampered Chef garlic press. It's really good. You can, in fact, squeeze garlic that hasn't even been peeled and then it has this handy little doodad that clears out all of the holes and you can pick out what remains with this bit. So if you're looking for a garlic press I highly recommend the Pampered Chef one. Okay that is how my beef stew is looking. I'm just going to give it a bit of a mix. I'm going to put it on to cook if I feel like it needs more liquid as it cooks then I'll add some in but I think it'll be fine it usually makes its own juices. With the beef stew I'm going to be serving spiced and roasted pumpkin. This is a pumpkin that I grew I've just got it out of the greenhouse and it's starting to develop some soft spots so it definitely needs to be eaten or it's just gonna rot. Cutting and peeling pumpkins is always a big job so best I get started. Okay, I've cut up the whole pumpkin. As you can see, I had to throw some of it away. The inside was starting to rot out, but this is still fine. So I'm gonna just drizzle it with some olive oil. And then I have this smoky barbecue salt by Mrs. Rogers. It has Himalayan pink salt, garlic, chipotle, chili, coriander seed, onion, cumin, smoked paprika, and herbs. And this goes really well with the pumpkin. So I'm just gonna coat it with the oil and the spices and give it a good mix and then tonight all I have to do is throw it on a baking sheet and bake it until tender. I 
I know it's made a lot, but I would rather freeze the leftovers or blend them into soup than have bits and pieces of pumpkin sitting around waiting to still be dealt with. I'd rather just peel and chop it all in one go, roast it all in one go, and then I have cooked pumpkin to put in soups or salads or just to eat for lunch. The next thing I want to do is prep my mushrooms. I've been buying sliced mushrooms, but of course they work out way more expensive that way. So this week I just got a whole bunch of fresh mushrooms and I'm just going to give them a wipe with a damp cloth, slice them up and put them into a container so that when we want to add mushrooms to omelets or anything really, they are ready to go and they're all prepped and sliced. There you go, mushrooms prepped and ready to go in the fridge. These are Sistema one liter containers. And then the last thing I'm going to do in today's prep session is cut my broccoli into florets so that they're ready to go when it comes to time to make dinner. I've already washed these and cutting them up is all I'm gonna do. This is a two litre Sistema container. And that's my broccoli, ready to go. I know that didn't take long, but it just feels like a treat when it comes to cooking and even some of the steps are already done for you and you can just throw things together. I hope you enjoyed my food prep video today. Give us a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.